What if I only drink coffee for one week, surviving on one dollar of groceries each day for a month? I'm giving away one penny. None of those videos actually exist. All of those ideas were generated by my AI model. Codebenders, I'm building an AI that generates viral titles for YouTube videos. So today we'll focus on Ryan Trehan. I built a custom model for him and I tested how viral can those ideas get. In the first episode, I showed you how I built a basic AI app that generates YouTube titles for Mr. Beast, Ryan Trehan, and Iraq. Now I wanted to improve on that app and make the AI better. But I I didn't like how it looked and I didn't like the name. So I changed it from creator brain to super viral.ai. I changed the logo too and then made the layout cleaner overall. What do you think of this? Then it was time to improve the AI model for Ryan Trehan. I used GPT-3 to fine-tune a custom model, but here the trick is to get the data right. The more data you give, the better it will perform. It's literally as simple as that. Those models are super powerful. They just need high-quality data. So naturally, the first step is that you'll give it all the video titles that Ryan has made. But that's not much because he made a few hundred videos. But then you have to remove all the series he made because it's always the same title and just the episode number that changes. And then you also have to remove the old videos he made that are not relevant anymore. So you're left with a training data set of around 70 videos. But to make really good predictions, you need around 500 data points. And that's where, my friend, you have to be creative. You need to find ways to train your model when you don't have enough data. I can't show you how I made it, unfortunately, because it's business secret at this stage. I'm still in the process of launching this app. Maybe in the future, I'll reveal those secrets to a group of loyal subscribers in a private Discord or something. But for now, let's just see that AI in action. I pick Ryan from the list, click on the button, Woo, our first ideas. I let celebrities dress me for a week. The worst thing I've bought on eBay so far. Living with the world's most confusing Craigslist asked for 30 days straight. All right, this one didn't make much sense. Let's try another one. I traveled the world with no plans and no money. Yeah, this one is not bad, actually. I could see him making that. I spent a week in virtual reality. Yep. I think he made something similar, like I spent 100 days in virtual reality. The worst impression anyone's ever asked me to do. Yeah, this one is average. I tried to survive on only $1 a day for one week. This one is interesting because he did make many series of that sort, but the difference here is that he's restricted to only $1 per day. I survived on only Starbucks for a week. Yeah, that would be interesting. I let my dog pick my next video idea. I survived on only pizza for 30 days straight. I wanted to evaluate the viral potential of those ideas, so I called my friend Tyler, a YouTube consultant who worked with huge creators. Hey. How's it going, Julian? Hey, Tyler. I thought you'd be the best person to reach out to comment on this tool I built. So I'm going to show you a few ideas generated by my AI model. I just want to get your opinion. Do you think that if Ryan were to make those videos, could they potentially go viral? All right, let's get started. So the first one here is I spent 24 hours in the virtual reality world. And I think this is most of your video. There is the worst thing I've bought on Craigslist so far. And I build a treehouse from scratch using only Legos. <laughs> Interesting. These feel like very YouTube. So I don't know what your data set is, but uh, I, it, it feels very trained to me. This The second one, you know, I think is kind of off brand. It's hard to teach an AI like brand or like, or like, it, yeah. like the exact feel. But like in terms of ideating, for example, worst things I bought or, or worst rated or Craigslist, like I could see some sort of format like that working really well for for a creator in that niche. You can click again like on just to get some others. Then there is like how to survive 24 hours in a desert with no water. And I tried as many jobs as possible in 24 hours. That one's funny. I, I like that one. That last one. That, see this? Oh man, that's really clever. This is a, this feels really good to me for, for brainstorming. Like the concept, I guess, into like generating ideas to like, you know, sometimes you piece two together or you exactly. like as many jobs as possible is like, I, I hadn't thought of that. And like, there's a lot of ways you can bounce off of that. So in terms of brainstorming, this is really cool. I posted on Reddit too and made a few tweets about it. I'll show you a bit later what people say. Now, the cool thing with AI is that we're not bound to a specific creator. Imagine if you want to start a channel and your favorite creators are Ryan Trahan and Mark Robert, but you don't know which videos to make to build that channel. Well, it's simple. By combining the data of both of those creators, I was able to create a new model that fits that style. I call it Ryan Robber. Ask Tyler what he thinks of this. First one is I build a giant working paper airplane launcher. Yeah. I tried to build a robot house made using only items from Ikea. This is interesting. Yeah, it, it feels very engineering. 
Well, I guess that's the Mark Rober. Yeah, I tried to build a robot house made using only items from Ikea. I feel like that's the spectacle element being thrown in, you know, like Ryan loves to reference, um, well, mostly in shorts, brands, like well-known brands or entities like yeah. Ikea. Yes. Yeah, those are, <laughs> those are not realistic. Building a giant Lego tower to the moon. I built a tiny house from scratch for $10,000. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like the challenge is is really just honing in on, on like a creator's feel and style. Maybe if it was like for one penny or like one dollar, that'll be a bit more right. the style. I just love the you just click button, click button, click button and like write down ideas. Maybe you want to create a different type of channel. Maybe you want an entertaining, wholesome programming tech channel. No worries, bro. I got you covered. You take Ryan Trahan, you take a popular tech creator like Joma Tech, you combine them together and we get Ryan Tech. With that model, here are some of the ideas generated. I tried to build a website without using code. Coding without using my hands for a week. That's funny. I actually made a video slightly similar to this one where I coded with one hand tied to my chair. 24 hours straight of coding. Can I do it? Man, I really love this one. I tried to teach myself how to code using only Wikipedia. Yeah, that one could work. I tried to build a website with only one line of code. That's super interesting. If Instagram was about programming instead of photos. Insta code. Nice, I really like some of those ideas. Now, time to look at our Reddit and Twitter comments. We got a bunch of those. First one is from EU4 Junkie. They actually seem like they would go viral. 1, 4, and 5 seem really entertaining to me. I would watch those for sure. I'm gonna try at number 5 on my channel. I would definitely click on number 4. Some are not as positive though, like this one from Morsel. I wouldn't watch any of those silly videos. Number 4 will kill you, but go for it. The eating ones are a very bad idea, but lists like this can inspire you to make similar but reasonable ideas. Then we got replies to the tweets I made. That's pretty sick, how did you make it? Love it, pretty cool. Check DMs, I'm in waitlist. Speaking about waitlist, the waitlist for Super Viral AI is officially opened. Sign up for early access and start getting those ideas before everyone else. I'll be selecting a few people from the waitlist for private testing. When you sign up, you can see where you're ranked in the list and if you invite more friends in, you will climb the rankings to get to the top. Those who reach the top will be the first ones to test the AI. Good vendors, this was Orbex Tark. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, check out this one.